Howdy there. This is a unique video to show how to replace a motor on the Q500, Q500 Plus, Q500 4K, or Q500 G motors. Alright, so here we have the bottom side of a motor. Um, the motor is actually right here. This is a B. This one's giving us a problem, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. We just changed the ESC, so there's no need to look at that, but you know, it's still acting up. We're going to change it out. First thing you're going to do is you're going to flip it on its back and we're going to take a Phillips head just like this and I have a driver for it so I'm just going to put in the driver and there's four screws, they're all Phillips. So I'm just going to pop each one of those out. So I'm going to pull it out, we're going to disconnect the LED and pull off the light cover. Now this leaves us with the ESC. This ESC right here, um, we just replaced, so this one's fine. Uh, the motor's giving us issues, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and relieve the motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to just pull up any, uh, any tool that you need. Uh, sometimes I like to use dikes, sometimes I, used to, I like to use uh, Phillips, Phillips drivers, um, but whatever it takes to pry this up. Pop this off go ahead and disconnect the signal wire and what we're going to do is we're going to actually use a 2.5 or a 2 millimeter driver like this to pull out the uh, motor mount bolts so I'm going to change the driver off of my driver and we're going to pull this off now note they have uh, <clears throat> note they have washers. So you want to keep those on. You don't want to pull the bolts all the way out. Um, what I like to do is get that loosened. This will stay in place for as long as we need it. And we're gonna need to get our soldering iron ready. All right. So now that you have those wires desoldered, um, what I like to do is get the ESC held in a spot where it won't shift around so that you can go ahead and come in, heat up the back side, liquefy that solder in that, in that hole, and then pull it out with the solder sucker. So this is, fair, this is the most painless way to do this. It's very easy to burn yourself if you don't know what you're doing, but practice makes perfect. So you're just gonna heat them all up, suck the solder out, and you're good. So now you have the ESC clean and the motor detached. Alright, so here we have our new motor. This is a B motor that we're replacing. This is uh, item number YUNQ500114. Uh, it's going to be a, an A if it's an A motor or a B if it's a B motor. It's fairly simple. So what comes in this package is going to be a motor, four screws, four washers, and the rubber dampener which reduces vibrations to the flight controller. This is already included on brand new frames and is also included with this motor uh, but this this frame already has one all we're doing is replacing the motor. So these motors come prepackaged in bubble wrap to protect them in shipment. All you're gonna do is un unravel it. We already unbolted the old motor so all you have to do is pull it out just like that put it aside and we're gonna go ahead and there's two slots in this frame there's one where the channel for the wires comes out and there's another slot right here right next to it where that's a little wider we're gonna shove these wires straight through that right where it gets a little wider and we're just gonna feed them up through from the bottom technically the top but from the bottom up and then we're going to line up the, mo the motor holes as best we can without tightening anything down. So that's pretty good. And we're just going to have it held there with gravity with the frame. So now we have the new ESC, or the ESC cleaned out. These holes are pretty much ready to go. So just like the ESC switch video, all you need to do is make sure they fit in. See that one's a little wide. The other thing you can do, because we had to clean these out, these aren't perfectly clean, um, you can go in with a driver 
and just clean that just a little bit. The solder's softer than the rest of everything. So you can just make the holes just a hair wider and not damage anything. So now the holes are just a hair wider. We might be able to fit these wires through now. So this one's going in, but it's, it's no cigar. So what we're gonna do is we're also gonna go ahead and shed some material on the solder, the pre-soldered wire and see if that helps us enough to get it in. So we're still just a hair, just, just, a, just a hair too wide. Go in, shave off a little bit more, and we're good. Now we can, nope, we're not good. So we're gonna have to go back and do it one more time. So now, now that this fits in pretty well, we can go ahead and go ahead and just add some solder and solder it in. Make sure that the uh, end of the wire is as far as it can go. So reflow and push the wire on a little farther in if you need to. And you're gonna move on to the next wire. You're just basically gonna repeat that step if you need to. So this blue wire, they did a better job of getting that one set up. And not all of these are gonna be exactly the same, so they will vary just a little bit. But you can go ahead and get soldering on this one. Add some heat. Heat the entire thing until the, all the solder flows really nicely all around the ESC pad like that. So now that's ready to go. Now it's cool. We can go ahead and move over to the third one. Third one goes straight in. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes it's a little more difficult, but it's pretty much the same thing with all of them. So what we're gonna do is heat this up just enough to get all the solder on. That way you can basically verify you're not gonna have a solder joint, a cold solder. All right, so now that we have the ESC soldered to A, B, and C on the motor, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down the motor to the frame. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off our, our threading with a two millimeter. We're gonna start one off, try to line one of these up with one of the holes. So this one should be right about there. Usually you can just about feel when it's right about to go in. So that one's that one's in. Then you pivot off of the first one to line up the others. So yeah, the first one here, you want to tighten it just a little bit, not too much. You don't want to torque it down, but you want to pivot the motor and then line up the second one. Second one you can tighten down, then you can tighten down the first one again. Go into the third one, just like a star pattern. And that's how you tighten that down. Now you're gonna go ahead and situate this to where the signal wire is closest to the channel, just like when you change the ESC. Same idea. We're gonna go ahead, push that down. We already plugged it in, but for demonstration's sake, we're gonna go ahead and unplug that. We're going to bend the plug 90 degrees or more and we're going to line it up with the plug on the light, get the tip in and then just push the rest in like that. You want to have about a millimeter gap, smaller than that's fine if it'll do it, um, but you don't want to have a bigger gap than that, otherwise you may not have a good connection. So you're going to go ahead and move the, move the wire away from all the pillars down the middle of the ESC. You're gonna line up the holes. You can basically feel it, and even without screws, you can feel that it's very solid. It fits snug, um, but not but not tight. So you're gonna do is do that. You're gonna get your Phillips ready. Maybe get one of these started. 
start one. Now it's not going to move. Switch over to your electric driver. And then go ahead and tighten it down. And just like the last video where we changed the ESC, you want to be very careful with this. As you can see, I got a little close. I didn't necessarily touch it, but I got a little close to this edge right here. I got a little close on this edge. Um, so that's that's also something to be very noted. But I didn't really burn it, so you want to keep an eye on that. But other than that, that's how you change a motor.